Hello everybody! Emerald Emblem is back! It's been a while, I know, and for that I apologise. But I can't really get consistent rhythm going. I just happen to have the time today, so... Let's continue where we left off. Back home. I still can't get a hold of her. Were there guests over today? When I checked the clock, it was past 10 o'clock already. Since then, I tried calling Shigure several times, but couldn't get through to her. And just like that, it had already gotten this late. Maybe she planned this all from the beginning. What a twist that would be. Wouldn't it? Yeah? <laughs> I've never gone this long without hearing from Shigure. I really didn't understand my family's schedule at all. Oh, this has gotten interesting very quickly now, hasn't it? <laughs> I don't think that's what it is. You haven't even grown that much. What are you two talking about? A maiden's heart sure is complicated, isn't it? Vanilla, you're the one changing the subject. In any case, don't worry about the bath. You two need to get ready to go home. Vanilla and chocolate, they do go well together, don't they? Stop feigning ignorance, you two. Cut that out. The two of them look my way. About to distract me again. Oh no, I don't want to exit the game. Oh no, sorry. Since Shiguri isn't picking up, I'll take you two home. So go get ready to leave. <laughs> Chocolate and Vanilla turned away from me and cast their gazes downwards. Returning home on the same day I had moved out. It seemed to be such a stupid idea that I did hesitate a bit. There was no other way. Nor was there time for excuses. I looked towards Chocola and Vanilla as they hung their heads in silence and continued on. Listen up you two, I'm going to open my bakery. I've got no one to rely on, so I don't know how things will turn out. With all that's going on, I don't know if I can take care of you two. Get it? I mean, it's already going to be difficult enough just looking after myself. Oh, damn it! Yes. It was a quiet voice I could barely hear. Chocola said something with her head down. Hmm? What did you say? I came closer and asked her to repeat herself. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what did I say? <laughs> oh, ah, ah, wait! Hey, Chocola! Ah, wait, stop! Vanilla, why are you running away too? Yes, why are you running away? It's dangerous, so stop running around! If you fall, you'll get hurt! 
maybe so in Ch Chuckler's case. But aren't you bad with physical activity? Come on! I've got you now, Chuckler! <laughs> I am not! It's because you two are running around! Hey! Ah, stop it! You're still going to run! Yeah, I've got you, Vanilla! What? Chocola, stop! Really, stop! <laughs> Chocola! Like I said, stop running! Two of them didn't listen to a word I said as they continued to mess with me. And that was how the first night went. What an eventful night that was. For now, I'll let you stay. But only for tonight. I don't have guest beds or futons, okay? While all that was happening, 11 o'clock became midnight. My, what an active household. Even if I took them home, everyone was sure to be asleep by now. The one glimmer of hope I had, that Shigure would call me back, didn't happen. I wonder why that might be. So I decided that taking them home tomorrow was my first priority. Cleverly, they had even brought pajamas. Because of course they thought they were staying. Just how much planning went into their schemes anyway? Evidently quite a bit. Really? If you two sleep there, where will I? <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourselves, you two. A single bed for three people is too crowded. Personally, I wouldn't be so happy about that. But, what do I know about cat girl etiquette? I watched the two of them lie down and curl up on the floor of an empty room without even curtains. That's way too pitiful a sight to be called praiseworthy. <laughs> That's something only strange people would say. Where did these cat girls get this information from anyways? Well, they've probably read a lot of books and watched TV in Shigure's room. Chocolate isn't good with kanji characters, so she only reads picture books though. Sounds about right. Not to sound mean or anything. Ah, whatever. You two go sleep in my bed. It still gets pretty cold at night in April after all. I'm going to sleep on the sofa in the living room. The sofa can fit one person, and there's air conditioning in there if I need it. But isn't it cold in winter? You just said this. <laughs> they move quickly towards me, like lions catching their prey. I placed my hands on their heads and spoke in a clear and stern voice. Listen up! I will sleep on the sofa, and you two will sleep in my bed. Those are your master's orders. Understood? I said it like that deliberately. The two of them looked as if they wanted to say something, but they hesitated. They lowered their heads apologetically. 
ご主人様ごめんなさいご主人 They must have doubts. They looked like they were on the verge of tears. Oh my god, I'm such a dick! <laughs> Their obedience had the exact opposite of the effect I expected. It filled me with guilt. I'll bet it does. I feel guilty. I felt a prickling sensation in my chest. It hurts! That pain left me as I sighed and rubbed the two of them on the head. Come on, get going. Hi. Good night. If anything happens, call for me right away. Hi. Oyasumi nasai. Kosujin sama. Oyasumi. Kosujin. I gently rubbed the heads of the two dispirited cat girls once more. See you in the morning. With that said, I turned the lights off in the room. Kosujin sama. Sono. Honto ni gomen nasai. Oh, she's adorable. Her vanishing voice echoed slightly in the darkened room. The pain in my heart from before became even sharper. Damn straight, it should. That's just mean. I swallowed that pain and replied cheerfully. It's okay if it's just for one night. Don't worry about it. Now then. Go to sleep. I really shouldn't act on my emotions, huh? I can see where you came from. You just came off a bit mean, that's all. I laid down on the sofa. I sighed while staring at the ceiling. If I gave in to my emotions, the result would just lead to more sadness. If I used kind or hopeful words, they would all end up as lies. It's pretty uncool of me to be so passive like this. While I continue to pile on insults and making excuses for my actions, I closed my eyes and awaited for sleep to take over. <laughs> oh dear. And with that, I think I'll end the episode off here. Alright, we'll continue this conversation tomorrow, Shigure. Sorry.、Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. If, if you have anything you'd want to tell me, maybe you don't like the style of. Narrating with the with my voice English with these Japanese voices, but you know, let me know.、Um, so, thank you very much for watching again. I'll see you all next time.